one of my favorite guys in all the coaching profession. And he chose tonight to spread it and drive us a little bit because we had the advantage inside and made, they made it very difficult for us. And over the course of the game, though, I thought we did some good things as well. I think it was uh, scoring in the lane. I think it was 42 to 14. And uh, we felt like that we had an advantage with our big guys and we wanted to get it there. But we did want to guard better than we guarded. And, uh, but uh, we were fortunate. They were nine for nine the first half from free throw line. They were one for eight for the second half. And needless to say, that helped us as well. But I thought we did some good things. Uh, uh, but we also saw some great uh, things that we have to work on a great deal. And we're happy to get out of here with a win. Happy to uh, have a great time while we're here. Uh, offensively, I thought he did some good things. It was not, I don't know that it was the best defense because I remember about 29, 30, 33, 35 defensive errors. Uh, but I thought around the basket, other than the first play of the game, first play of the game, his brain went on vacation. And we talk about going to the basket with everything. And he shot the biggest fadeaway I've ever seen in my life. But uh, uh, he has great touch around the basket and uh, uh, had a couple of tip ins that we work on. But I thought uh, offensively, he was really, really good. Other than a couple of times, I thought he could have thrown it out of the double team, including the time that he got to walk and call. But uh, uh, 20, 25 and 11 is in three blocks is pretty doggone good. You guys have any questions for the guys? Let's ask them so they can get back down to the locker room. Um, my whole thing for the beginning of the game was just to get the ball down low and get it as low as possible. Um, that's what we did. Um, that was for all the bigs. I'm um, just having some of my shots were going through. Um, but the entire game, just trying to get the ball in the paint. Like you said, it was 40, 47 to 14 in the paint, something, something, something like that. So 42, 14. Yeah. So we just tried to get the ball in the paint as much as we could. He was 10 for 14, 10 for 13 when his brain was involved. Joe, first career start tonight. Uh, it take a little while to kind of get settled in. Um, just a little, but um, I mean. I just wanted to go out there and play my game. And uh, I know my teammates are out there to help me, so it wasn't too hard to adjust to. But uh, you know, I was just happy to, you know, to go out there and get the win. So. What's the biggest challenge in playing without Marcus? Um, I mean, Marcus can score the ball. He does a lot of things for us. And um, that's one of our key players. But uh, you know, with him being out, you know, we just have to step up. And everyone has to take on different roles. And as you see tonight, we were able to do that, we were, and you know Kennedy and Bryce. I mean, Bryce stepped up in the second half, and Kennedy just played a great game the whole game. So other guys are getting involved, and that's what we need. For both you guys, what changed late in the first half? You guys closed the half up thirteen-two. If it had been close before that, um, like Coach said, they were trying to spread out the uh, spread us out and take us to the hole, and um, so we just had to get in the stance and you know play defense, and that's what we were able to do, and then get the ball out and run. Uh, that's what we wanted to do, and um, that's what we like to do, and kick the ball ahead and let our big man go down and pin their big man under the rim, and that's how Kennedy was able to get some easy baskets, and uh, that's why we were able to go on that 13-2 run. Joey, you, you didn't have Marcus, obviously, but you had some extended stretches with Nate, with Nate out there, and you guys are pretty Yes, sir. Um, Nate knocked down a couple of shots, came in, played really well, and uh, that's what we need. Like I said, other guys just have to step up until, you know, Marcus gets back. And, I mean, it just – when he gets back, it's going to make it even better. So, Nate came in, step up, uh, stepped up. You know, Theo had a, a stretch where he did all right, and um, everybody just came together and played well. Um, of course we have. I mean, coaches prepared us well for this game. Um, that's our main focus right now while he's gone is just to come together um, and be even stronger while he's out. Um, and when, like Joel said, when he comes back, we'll be a much better team. Um, he's a great player, a great leader. Um, we miss him. Uh, but as of now, we have to focus on Fairfield next. Um, Marcus isn't going to be there, so we have to pull together again and try to have the same effect as we had tonight. Hey, Joel, I was wondering, could you speak to your time here, not just the game, but, you know, learning about Naval Academy life and what you kind of got out of that with that tour yesterday. Oh, are you asking me? Uh, can, you, can you say that again? <laughs> I was wondering, could you speak to your experience at the Naval Academy, you know, getting the tour yesterday is kind of what you got out of it and what you kind of learned? Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just great to see how, you know, 
what they have to go through as, as, as students and as human beings. I mean, you know, we go to a public school where, you know, we have freedom, but, you know, they have a, a schedule where it's every single day they just have to do the same thing over and over again, and it's like it's a tight schedule. And um, I have so much respect for them because, you know, they could do so many other things with their lives, and they decide to come here and, um, you know, and just be on a uh, strenuous schedule, and I have so much respect for that. And, um, you know, it was just great to see, you know, what they go through. And I had a great time sitting with them at dinner or at lunch and uh, just hearing their experiences. So. All right, guys, you take off to the locker room. Thanks. Thank you. I'll go with you if you want me to. <laughs> Well, I didn't think Isaiah played very well. Uh, Nate gave us a big lift, and if you ask about the 13-2 run, we made three threes in the last two and a half minutes. Uh, Nate made two of them, and Theo made one of them. But I didn't think Isaiah played very well because he's played much, much better in practice. I was trying to look down and see five for eight, three for four. No, it's Nate, excuse me. Isaiah's three for four and four rebounds. Uh, he's played a lot better, and I think he'll play a lot better on Sunday. But I, you, know, you can write what you want, but I didn't think he played worth a darn. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's uh, was well, slow as Bryce started off. You know, if you're out there with a heartbeat, you play with more energy than Bryce was playing with. But uh, uh, again, I think it was uh, uh, what we expect of Isaiah. I expect even a lot more from him. I really do.